Hi guys, so it's Sunday and we're at Cheesecake Factory. On Sundays, Cheesecake Factory does um, like their Sunday brunch, so it's the only day when you can get pancakes and like brunchy breakfast stuff from Cheesecake Factory. And yeah, so I'm here with my love. Hey, honey. Having brunch, like you said. You want to say anything else? Yeah, everybody. <laughs> they can see your pretty eyes from this light since we're right here by the window. I, mean, I don't really need light to have pretty <laughs> eyes. I got pretty eyes, bro. Let me, uh uh, y'all can talk to me because you uh, all know how we do. So, yeah, um, we ordered our food and we're just sitting here chilling and waiting. So, we hope that everyone is having a fabulous Sunday. What are y'all doing today? What do y'all like to do on Sunday? I know we're doing the Sunday brunch and then um, we watch The Walking Dead on Sundays. What else do we watch on Sundays? And the new show called Resurrection. So we're just really just chilling today. I'm all dolled up just because I felt like playing around in my makeup. Y'all know how I do. So we shall follow. So honey got French toast. And it said that it was like the world's best French toast on the menu. It's the boulet French toast and then some eggs and potatoes. And I just got the regular menu, firecracker salmon and then some dynamite shrimp. So we're about to eat. Hi guys. So right now we're heading over to Sally's, the beauty supply store, because I'm going to get some stuff to color some hair. I've been wearing this blonde um like bob unit but the color i don't know the more i saw the color the more i started thinking like it's like a little bit too yellow and it's probably because it wasn't toned um it was a pre-colored unit from rpg show so yeah they probably didn't tone it they probably just bleached it or whatever and at first i liked the color but then i was like oh you know like it would it was kind of like blending into my skin or something like I don't know I like a bit of contrast with my hair color I like it to either be darker or lighter so I'm gonna get some stuff to lighten my bob unit from Sally's yeah I'm gonna get some stuff to do that and um yeah and then we're just going to head home the food at Cheesecake Factory was really good the service I don't know like it was okay like I don't know if the person the waiter that we had if he was supposed to be doing that section because he didn't come back to see if we wanted like refills we didn't get any bread y'all and y'all know that we love the bread from Cheesecake Factory so the fact that we got no bread that kind of had me a little you know in my feelings but yeah the food was good how did you like your world's greatest French toast? It was good. It was the best French toast I had um, at restaurants. Oh, um, cool! It, it was brulee, so it was. It was. I like that top, you know, extra crunchy, and then like the soft middle, and the, um, the syrup was good. Um, it was good. How were your eggs? The eggs were good too. It's just eggs. Like I don't think you could really mess up on eggs like that. They're scrambled with cheese and, and um, potatoes. They were good though. That's I would I would recommend that if you guys ever at home. You like French toast. I would recommend going to the brunch and getting a brulee French toast. Thanks for your recommendation, boo. <laughs> so yeah, y'all know what I got. I didn't want any brunch food or breakfast food or anything. I just got the firecracker salmon rolls and then the dynamite shrimp and that was good as usual i'm in sally's right now getting the stuff that i need and this is the toner that i'm going to be using the wella colortron toner and this one is in like an ash blonde that's the color i'm going for for my bob unit hi guys so here are the results of the hair from when I was at Sally's yesterday when I went to Sally's to get some hair color. So I colored the hair 
last night and these are the results now i really 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 love it i love this color like now that i've seen i see this color now and then when i look at the pictures and video from the color before like the color was definitely very yellow and somewhat brassy so I'm so glad that I was able to remove those brassy tones because I feel like this color looks really pretty and I really love it and yeah it was really easy to do well I really like coloring hair anyway like I've been coloring hair for some years now even back in high school I got my hair professionally colored a couple times but then I would just color it myself at home and my uncle would actually help me color my hair he's not a hairstylist or anything he would just like always help me with whatever crazy stuff I was doing so Hey honey, say hi to the people. Hi to the people. How you doing today? I'm good. Why do boys get to have long eyelashes and then like, I don't know. I used to have long lashes before I wore like fake lashes. <laughs> but I guess all that glue and tearing them off and stuff probably messed up my lashes. But look at Terrell's eyelashes, y'all. Turn around. Let us see your eyelashes. Come on. Come on. See? Come on. Look at his eyelashes. They're long. Okay. They're so long and his little brother has long eyelashes. Um, Kamora has long eyelashes too. Like hers are really long. Jealous! But yeah, so when I met him when we were in high school, he had braids, y'all. He was so cute and I would be like so shy when he would like come around because I was a freshman and he was a junior. Oh, they know the story. No, I'm th mind your business. But they know the story. Go to Young Mary Happy. No, they don't want to do that. I'm There's talking. Uh-uh. No, don't tell me. Let me finish talking. Anyway, so I'm not going to tell y'all the whole story, but I was friends with his cousin and then I met him and he would like talk to me and stuff and then the rest is history now 52 years later here we are it's like it's not it hasn't been that long but it's been quite they some know time that too. some people don't know so they think you 52 at least 52 years old. no that's a joke <laughs> no but some people don't know how long we've been together if they're just like say someone just starts watching right on this vlog and then they don't go watch the other ones then they won't know our story or what's going on well start at the beginning like y'all don't start books at the end of it no but when start i subscribe to a channel i don't go if watch I all the to videos a vlog channel i start from number one uh-uh i don't, I don't got from, time for that i don't start from the end that's you don't, though. It don't make sense. I That's thought people you. did that. No, because I don't do it. I can't expect people to I do something that I do. I thought the majority people do that. If I start watching someone's vlogs, like I'll watch whatever, like the one, the most recent one that day. Like if I start watching someone's vlog channel, I'll watch the most recent one from whatever day I discover their channel, and then I may watch like two or three uh, before that one. When but I, when, I, when I watch vlogs especially vlogs now i don't if i'm watching someone's but uh, some channel people have like hundreds of vlogs on their channel well, i'm not I about try, to but commit I don't to just watching start, that many. i don't just start with i try to want to learn the, the, the history of well, who they are that's but, fantastic i mean kimura cam and kimura said they started watching them from number one watching the, what hours our vlog. yeah from number one they're family they come, yeah but they don't <laughs> have to do that they watch it and then they yeah. kimura says she still watch them Aww. and but cam said he stopped and Kamora kept watching them. Like, I guess they was watching them on his PS3 or whatever. Oh. And, um. How do y'all watch vlogs? If you discover a new vlog channel, do you go and start from the beginning of their vlogs and then watch those until you get caught up to the recent ones? Or do you just start where you, I guess, the one that you discovered first and then just kind of skim through and check out the other ones? That's what I. I personally do I'll like skim through and check out some of the other ones but some people have been vlogging for yes, years now, and like, I'm not about to watch like I well watch, I like, could but I don't like Timothy De La Ghetto he on like vlog 400 and something oh like, I've been watching so his vlog I've been watching his vlog since like the beginning like you know so 
yeah. it's kind of like catching it's it's not catching up but if i wanted to know because he's done a lot of things like so it's if you've seen him back in the beginning on the you know when he was first grinding then you'll see the the outcome starting to come down like with a lot of yeah. stuff so i just think that people should if you like someone vlog channel it don't matter if we what 80 something vlogs that's now. a like, lot of stuff i don't think so because it ain't like it's like a, a half hour show or hour long no show. but some people's vlogs will be like 30 minutes 20 minutes yeah that's, like, long, that's long but those are if episodes a, but ours yeah, be, if it was just maybe a few like minutes maybe between like six and 11 minutes average or something like that like so i feel like yeah okay now that but i'm talking about i've seen people's vlogs that'll be like 30 minutes like long so if i come across someone's vlog channel like i'd rather watch the whole video like so you know i watch one whole video but i know i can't watch a hundred thirty minute videos or like but all 200. your questions but all i'm saying is and this shit i know this way but it, all i'm saying is to know the answers and if you're interested in watching something, it's usually somewhere in your video. So yeah, if true. someone is watching now, it's like, oh, how long y'all been married? Or are y'all married or something like, you know, you could usually find an answer if you if you like what you're seeing and just go back and watch from the beginning and, and things you missed. Because we always reference things like, oh, this happened on this vlog and somebody might have missed it. Yeah. So that's all. That okay. Too long on that. Well, yeah, that's what he telling y'all to do. I'm telling y'all to just do what y'all want. You know, if you if you want like a little background, you can check out the older vlogs and you can see, you know, kind of how we started or whatever. But sometimes when I tell a story, I'll try to give a little bit of, you know, background and let y'all know in case you didn't see those. But um yeah, so that was a long conversation and we always do that. Like we'll start talking about something and then he'll have his Oh, he's locked up and he'll have his opinion and then I'll have my opinion and it'll, it'll be different but there's nothing wrong with having differing opinions about like just stuff especially if you're married or if you're friends like sometimes it seems like people think if you have a differing opinion from someone that oh my gosh is bad like it's okay just be respectful and you can't agree to disagree but <laughs> um we're about to go to raw sushi and have a little early dinner so we shall holler when we get in raw bye bye so here's our food rock and shrimp garlic edamame and las vegas rolls and then grilled short ribs for me hi guys so i absolutely suck at vlogging because I left the camera in the car when we went to raw sushi so I apologize for that I did record our food on my phone so hopefully y'all got to see that but I'm just trying to get back in the swing of vlogging well we're trying to get back in the in the swing of vlogging since we haven't vlogged in a long time I usually always put the camera in my purse or so have it in my hand but this time I left it in the cup of holder so yeah we had raw sushi um had an early dinner there and that's pretty much it so it was good the food was good as usual